Phil, congratulations. Derby Day victory against Newport and a day when records were broken. Your reaction to the game? Yeah, obviously a game played in very difficult conditions, uh, swirling wind. But we've trained in those conditions this week, so we're kind of kind of used to it. So when it's like that, the game's always going to have a, a scrappy feel to it, and it was important that we were ready to, to scrap first and second balls all over the pitch. Um, and I felt we did that very well. Um, and the moments of quality in terms of the football, you know, we knew they might be not as often as, as no, in normal conditions, but we still played some good football and we switched the play and, and got in some dangerous positions. So, you know, all in all, I thought the lads have stuck to the job in hand today and got another very important three points for us. As you mentioned with the conditions, it was a hard fought first half, but certainly in the turn of the second half, we had so many chances before the deadlock was broken. You must have been delighted when you saw the ball hit the back of the net in the end. Yeah, f finally, you know, Jack James has reacted great in, in the box and scored a goal. So, so pl pleased for him. Yeah, we just just kept saying to the lads that you know half time before, you know, we've just got to keep grinding away today. It's, it's one of those types of games we've we've had them before. It's about being ready to get your bodies in, to protect the ball up front, to win those headers in midfield, to you know make sure the communication's right when the ball comes from the keeper through our back line. I thought that they did that terrifically well. So all those very basic things in football had to be in place today to get us a win. Let's talk about before the game. Pleasing for Arthur to return to the starting lineup, but an injury to Owen O'Connell in the warm-up yeah. and Max coming in. First of all, your reaction to all of that? First of all, I thought Arthur was uh, excellent. He pulled off two really good saves, you know, which are uh, you know, key moments in the game. Owen's calf tightened up before the game. Um, we didn't obviously not take a risk on that. And, and Max stepped in. I thought he played really well. He played like a real man today. Um, I just said to him in there that you know, the way he's trained in the last two or three weeks, he's really upped his game and um, he deserved his opportunity today. And uh, he was ready and, and he really took it. And then later on in the second half, we got the win. You mentioned the swirling win before. That certainly paid dividends with Tozer's throw and a great header from Elliot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's Tozer's throw. We've kind of like started to get more and more from it as the season's gone on. And it's an important weapon for us. And you know, you've got to be a team who can score in all, all, all different scenarios. And obviously that, that weapon has, has produced for us time and time again. And hopefully it will continue to do so. But as I said last week about Elliot, the, the way he reacts and, and um, picks up the flight of the ball in the, in the box is except, exceptional. And today, a record attendance broken inside the Stoke Kairas. Four sides to it now. Two goals in front of the cop must have been great to see. Yeah, that was. I said to the lads at half time, you know, kick into to that end with, with supporters in. You know, let's really kind of take the game to, to Newport, lock attacks in, kind of put them under sustained periods of, of pressure. And I felt we did that. We got the goal. We probably, you know, for being hypercritical, is for 10 minutes, we just kind of like um, could stop stops our forward momentum. But then I thought we picked it up again after that. So, you know, credit to the lads. You know, they've worked exceptionally hard today. And like every win, it's a really important one. And just finally, today marks our final home game of 2023. It's been an incredible year at the Stoke Kairos, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, it's been you know a year of many memories, and you know it was important today. You know the, the Welsh derby, the, the history with Newport, um, that we sent our supporters home into the Christmas festivities in good spirits, and it, it was absolutely key because you know you know when you have a rival and how important it is, and um, you know the lads were aware of that, and you know we, we spoke about it yesterday. While didn't want to get everyone too hyped up about it, it was concentrated on on the performance. They were aware of what it meant to our supporters today, and the way they stuck to the job. Um, I thought they showed that.